Hi, this is the Bear from Android TV Boxes, and I'm going to show you really quickly how to add Mashup to your uh, XBMC installation. Now, this is version 13.1 on Gotham. Um, it doesn't matter uh, which device that you've got, whether it be an Apple, Pi, um, an Android, or you know, a Windows PC. It just doesn't matter. What you need to do is you need to make sure that you're on in version 12 above on uh, XBMC. Uh, at the moment, XBMC are pushing out some updates to tell you to to run version 13. Um, at the moment, there's a few issues, so let's stay away from that. Um, so uh, anyway, this is a Virgin install. Um, the only thing I've got installed on here at the moment because I've been completing some other videos is iStream. Uh, check out my other videos on how to uh, set that up. So uh, yeah, let's install Mashup. The first thing we need to do is we need to add a source. So we're going to go to System, File Manager. Okay, we're going to add a source. In the path, we're going to write in HTTP colon slash slash install dot mashup xbmc dot com okay now what that's going to do um, that's actually going to add a uh, like a repository online um, for me to download some files now th this isn't a, a true repository in terms of when you go to system and add-ons and actually add on uh, a file from a repository this is just basically connecting to an online web source for you to start downloading the files ready to set your device up now I'm going to call this file .mu. Uh, the dot signifies it's going to be at the top of the list. If you have multiple dot sources, uh, then what will happen is they will become in alphabetical order. You'll get an error message if it fails. Double click on it to see if it works. And there you go, it's working. So what we're going to do now is now we're going to actually install the repository. So we're going to go system, add-ons, install from zip file, we're going to browse.mu, the file that we've just added to the uh, the system. We're then going to go to repository, excuse me, and we're going to click on mashup repository version 1.7. Now, we could install just the add-on. The problem with installing add-ons and not add actually installing repositories is that when an update becomes available, you don't receive the update. The repository is designed to auto-push changes to you. So, uh, you saw the message there on the bottom right hand corner that said that the repository has now been added what we're going to do is we're going to get the add-on so we're going to go to get add-ons you'll see here that all add-ons by MASH now exist so this is the repository we've just installed we're going to go to video add-ons MASH up install it's going to download just going to go back to the home screen now so that it literally becomes available MASH up add-on enabled and we'll find it under video add-ons and there it is. Wait a few seconds. Let it let it create its first initial folders. It will give us a warning, uh, which pops up that says that Prometheus is now out. Prometheus is the uh, the paid for uh, box that uh, some of the guys behind Mashup are pushing out. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> there are issues I think with that unit. I mean, it looks nice, but I think it's way OTT'd. Uh, so you close down that error message uh, pop up and you'll see here this is mashup now mashup in itself will uh, collect all of these icons from online um, and you'll notice that there are some missing let it open its YouTube video it's got to do its little thing it likes to warn about Dick TV Dixie oh, for some reason uh, right so you'll notice that there are a couple of uh, icons missing Okay, you can fix them really, really quickly. Mashup settings. Go to home layout. Scroll to the bottom. And you'll see here these extra icons that can be enabled. So let's add them. Scroll to the bottom. Enable, 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 enable. Uh, it could be a few. Um, there we go. Done. So now let it rework. And here you go. There's a few more icons. Now it's particularly important that you have these ones. Especially the new Pirate Bay. Stale 1982. Demon 88 movies. They're the full of content that you pretty much want in your life. Um, one thing I will give you. Another, another tip while you're here. Um whilst you you've got mashup open and it's the first time installing it apply fixes these are the fixes you need in your life 
So we'll go back to mashup, go to apply fixes, let's go to maintenance, delete packages folder. Okay, now deleting packages folder is very important if you have a very large installation or you have a lot of add ons. Every time you download an add on or an update is applied, it gets stored in a directory and that makes your installation larger. So if you're starting to do backups, your backup will get huge. If you delete those files, they they make your your installation streamline come out of that menu go to advanced system tw uh, setting tweaks apply zero cache believe me you need this in your life having zero cache means that um, there isn't a, a definitive amount of cache that can be applied to your system when you're downloading or when you're streaming content so um, imagine this in a default installation and you're using an add-on and you're streaming content Mashup or any of the other add-ons will only consume a certain amount of space before it then stops, you know, streaming the content. Now, if your internet connection is slower than you actually watching it, what's going to happen is that as you're playing, you're going to start to get buffering. The, the screen's going to slow down, it's going to go on you, and you're going to have to pause it. So, applying zero cache basically doesn't give it a limit, um, and it means that whilst you're watching, it's still downloading cache. Now, you can adjust that and make it either large or small or medium, or you just have none. I find that having none just works really well. So there we go, that's how you install uh, Mashup, how to add the extra menus, how to install Zero Cache, and how to delete your packages. Uh, my name's The Bear, I'm from Android TV Boxes. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Android TV Boxes, that's B O X E S. Come say hi, leave a comment in the message in the in below if you've got any problems also come find us on Facebook at XBMC users come say hi tell us you found us over there bye for now